Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Chairpoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new sharing experience and manage access that just uh, came out. It uh, exists in SharePoint and in OneDrive. Let's go in and see how we do it. So let me, I'm in a team site and I'll go to a document library and I'll choose a file and I want to share it. So I can click on this arrow or I can click on the three dots and click on share. Now we will see a new interface. First of all, we can choose the people we want to share it with. Let's put two people. And second of all, we can choose if we want to give a edit or view. We can type in a message. Here we can see actually how many people have access. So you see we have 19 people, four groups. And if I click on it, I can see actually all of the people, all of the 19. Here I see only 15. If I want to see more, I can click. And I can also see the permissions. I can see there's four groups and a link. By the way, if I click here on the three dots, I see advanced settings that takes us to the classical um, permission management. So let's go back. So um, if I click here on the sharing settings, I can now choose if I want to share it with anyone, with people in Contorso, in the company, with existing people, or with uh, people you choose. And then you can choose actually if you want to give uh, edit or, or view. So let's choose a specific people or people you choose. Let's type a message. Oops, something happened. So let's do it again. Click on the share button. Let's choose the person, Lee. I will choose that I want to give him specific Lee. This, I can either copy the link and then send it, or I can just uh, send it. So. Let's just uh, uh, send it off. And actually, the link uh, has been sent. Now, um, if I click on the three dots and then go to Manage Access, I will see it from the other way around. So I'll see all of the people that have access. As I said, 15, and now I see all of the 19. I can see four groups, and this is the link actually that I shared with Ligu. If I want, I can stop sharing totally, and then it will actually uh, 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 give specific uh, only to the people we want to. Uh, if I want to adjust one of the permissions, I can choose, for instance, Alan. I can click here, and uh, it says I can give actually direct access by clicking on the arrow and changing it from edit to view or removing it totally. So let's change it to view. Let's do apply. And if you look, we'll go, go again to Alan and we will see that he has already, he can view, he, he cannot edit. So this is actually the new interface. As I said, if you want to see how I stop sharing, you will see, actually, I should not see anything. Let's uh, go to Manage Access. You see only the, the owners group will always be there. All of the rest is actually not there. Uh, what we can do is to share and add people. So let's add Lee. Let's add Alex. And um, let's give them view. We can co copy the link or just send it and they will receive it. Let's check again. Here we go. Manage. We see the two users, the, the groups. Okay, so let's see how the experience is in OneDrive. So this is my OneDrive. I'll take this folder. I can click on share. And you see the experience is very, very similar. Here I can choose uh, the sharing settings, uh, what else? As I said, here I can, can actually share this link 
to this folder. So let's try to do this. I click on it and we we'll would open up the Outlook with the link to the file or folder. So you see, it gives me the whole 